So I know the age old question is, if you're not in the forest when a tree falls, does it make noise? And if Tim's not in his office, does he still have a blue shirt on? The answer to both questions is a definitive yes. We've got more important things to cover with you though this week. Stay tuned. So we're in Seattle today. I've been over here for a couple days now. The fellas have joined us, at least some of the team, uh, for a few different things we'll get to in a moment, but also just some good old fashioned team building. I've got Ben behind the camera, you'll see him momentarily. To my right, Dave Gordon uh, is here. <laughs> Jacob Tim. <laughs> and go ahead, spin the camera on yourself there, Ben. That's a close, that's a close, uh, <laughs> close encounter. Yeah. That's as close as you're going to want to get to my face. Yeah. Hopefully this isn't high def. Call it a close encounter of the third, <laughs> the third kind, if you will. So listen, doing something a little bit uh, different since we're out of town this week and we're not going to have uh, the talents of Matt and all of his uh, magic to make us uh, look better than, than we sh uh, normally do. Want to cover a little bit about what's going on in the markets, but also talk about, again, how we're trying to practice uh, what we preach. So clearly another up and down week in the markets, uh, as you probably presumed here for some time, this trade issue is not going away. Um, that doesn't mean you have to live in fear of it. But the title of this week's commentary is again, being aware versus being anxious. So we put out these commentaries. We want you to fill informed. We spent, I certainly spent a lot of time this morning reading a lot of the different reports that I get on a daily basis. We need to be aware, but an even bigger part or at least an equally big part to not being anxious, because um, I don't know how many people spend a lot of time watching the news and leave not feeling uh, anxious, is again, knowing what your plan is. So we thought it'd be cool to shoot this video here today because that's what we're doing. We sat down, spent a couple hours this afternoon, really going back through what we already feel is a pretty good process to make it an even better process around client communication and clarity. We hear from people all the time uh, as we're going through the surveys and ask them, what do you value most? And we've gotten your feedback loud and clear for those of you who are clients, which is you take the time to get to know us, you communicate consistently and effectively with us, and the result of that is we really know where we're at in our path. Music to our ears, uh, we don't think we're done. We wanted to continue again to refine that process um, really across the client spectrum and what we hope will be some new clients uh, to the firm as well. Uh, below in this week's commentary is a piece by Ray Dalio. This is, will be it for market commentary for the week. Um, I couldn't have said it any better. He brought up some wonderful, wonderful points. Ray Dalio, for those of you who don't know, uh, by all accounts, the most successful money manager of all time, multi-multi-billionaire at his firm, Bridgewater Associates. Um, may take a couple issues with things here or there, um, but I'm going to defer uh, to Ray in this week's commentary. The only point um, that, again, I highlighted last week that I bring back is, you know, dictatorships usually don't uh, go well in economies that can't keep up. Um, and so while, yes, China is a much older country than the U.S., um, just because they're an old country doesn't mean they have forever to get their manufacturing um, data back uh, on track. They put out some weak uh, retail sales data and manufacturing data again this week. Um, and the world will adjust, and I think they're well aware of that. That being said, I thought the bigger philosophical points that he's talked talks about both countries wrestling with are well worth the read. So I hope you'll check that out. Uh, with that, I'm actually gonna include a combo commentary, uh, <laughs> my colleague Jake, again, just to let you know a little bit more around what's behind the heart in all these videos. Yeah, thank you, Tim, everyone. So to Tim's point, when we talk about volatility, I spent a lot of time talking with clients about the idea of volatility is kind of like waves on the ocean. And we've, we've used a boat analogy in the past. The idea that just like you can't predict the weather, we can't predict the markets. But the idea of that boat analogy is when the waves are getting larger and you're trying to fight through that storm, it's who do you want beside you in that boat? Who do you want to be the captain so that they can lead you through those rough seas and help you come out safe on the other side? That's exactly what we're attempting to do, whether it's the way that we're communicating with you through these videos to keep you in the loop so that you're not just hearing from you know, the mainstream media or some of those headlines that are meant to scare you. 
whether it's talking with you during those meetings that we have in our office or you know at some of our events just to make sure that you feel comfortable that whatever the markets throw at us whatever that storm looks like you know whether it's on the horizon or whether you're just going through it in any part of your financial life we want to be beside you in that boat helping you steer that ship in the right direction so we're going to stay in seattle today and tomorrow to keep collaborating to keep attempting to build out that process for you as clients or for maybe some of you who are still getting to know us where we know that you're going to stay informed and really understand how we're helping you captain that ship with that thank you as always for tuning in and we'll see you next week